1957, and poor Haile Selassie I published the Penal Code for the Empire of Ethiopia under Proclamation 158. Today we're going to be discussing that Penal Code. Okay. Um, the Penal Code of Emperor Haile Selassie I, okay, to us Rastafarians, is God's law. Okay, that's how we view the law. Okay, uh, and if we don't view that, the law is God's law. We should be viewing um, His Majesty's Penal Code as God's law, because Emperor Haile Selassie I is God and Father of Jesus Christ. So, um, a quote from His Majesty um, in the Autobiography, Volume 1, states, um, It is through manifesting by thorough study the Creator's law and through observing it that man's greatness is particularly recognized. Okay, so Emperor Haile Selassie, you know, said that through observing the law and by thorough study of the law, okay, through manifesting that law, okay, man's greatness is particularly recognized. So how do we manifest God's law? Okay, we manifest it by thorough study. We manifest it by observing it. Okay, so if we if we manifest these laws on earth, you know, we we would be creating God's theocracy, God's law, God's government on earth, heaven on earth. Okay, so this is this is this is what we're dealing with. So we're going to get right into the code. We're not going to waste any time. We're going to get right into the penal code. Um, and we're going to just start with the first article. The first article is entitled um, Object and Purpose. Okay, Article 1, Object and Purpose. The purpose of criminal law is to ensure order, peace, and the security of the state and its inhabitants for the public good. It aims at the prevention of offenses by giving due notice of the offenses and penalties prescribed by law. And should this be ineffective by providing for the punishment and reform of offenders and measures to prevent the commission of further offenses. Okay, so Haile Selassie has laid out the law for us. Okay, these laws, all right, these, are, these laws um, describe the offenses that are punishable, um, you know, uh, punishable by law, you know, uh, criminally. Okay, these are these are criminal offenses. Okay, so Haile Selassie uh, created the Penal Code, right? This document right here. We've included a link in the description for anyone who would like to read it on their own. Okay, it's a PDF file. You can read it on your own. We encourage you to read it and study it on your own. Okay, but today we're just going to be discussing. Uh, bullet points, right? We're just going to be discussing um, certain key uh, uh, and noteworthy articles that we think, um, you know, uh, are, are, are worthy of, of being of being uh, noted. Okay, so maybe we spark your interest, maybe we change your mind on some of these things, but uh, uh, that's what we're discussing. So we're not going to go into detail now. His Majesty went into tremendous depth and detail in many of these articles, but we're not we're not going to go into detail. We're just going to we're just going to touch the surface of it, just to give you the idea, okay, just to give you the, the, the main idea, the main principle of these laws, okay, so we're just going to start out, we're going to start out on Article 510, one of the more controversial articles in the Rastafarian movement, simply because it's a law against narcotics, now, the, the Rastafarian movement, okay, you know, they, uh, the people, people in the movement, people in the religion, you know, they justify uh, their their spiritual use of cannabis, their recreational use of cannabis, as uh, uh, you know, they justify that um, not only through their culture as, as their culture, but also you know through biblical verses. And we're not we're not really going to get into that today. But Article five hundred and ten um, is uh, outlawing um, narcotics in the kingdom of God. Okay, so so. When it comes to God's law, narcotics are illegal. Okay, now uh, Rastafarians will argue that uh, you know the word narcotics uh, is 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 subject to interpretation. Now the law is uh, subject to interpretation, as stated in Article Two. Okay, 
In cases of doubt, the court shall interpret the law according to its spirit, in accordance with the meaning intended by the legislature, so as to achieve the purpose it has in view. Okay, so that um, that interpretation, okay, the interpretation of the law can only be interpreted to the extent of his majesty. Okay, so the spirit of the law is, you know, highly Selassie's, um, you know, highly Selassie's uh, 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 purpose of the law. Okay, so uh, it absolutely includes marijuana. It absolutely includes marijuana, not not just marijuana, but you know, cocaine and, and, and any kind of narcotic. Look up the definition of narcotic. Okay, uh, narcotics can can be anything. Okay, so uh, when it says in in Article um, seven hundred eighty six, you cannot use narcotics without a uh, license. Okay, you cannot use it without a without a medical prescription, right? That includes marijuana, okay? So, so Haile Selassie, um, you know, he wasn't against science, okay? Uh, His Majesty was for science. So, you know, marijuana having medicinal qualities, and you have a prescription for a medicine because narcotics and drugs are medicine in 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 in, in a lot of instances, okay? That's legal. That's perfectly legal in His Majesty's um, government. However. You know, uh, uh, recreational use, spiritual use. You know, that's that's illegal under under Article 510. Okay, so we're not going to sit too long on this topic. Uh, we're just going to move move right along to the other ones um, because we want to cover uh, a, a variety of articles um, in the Penal Code. So moving right along, we're not going to waste any time here. Um, for example, Article 74 and 75, uh, they they detail self-defense. Okay, so according to God, in God's kingdom, okay, you are allowed to defend yourself. Okay, we have the we have the right to defend ourselves. We are justified in, in our self-defense. Okay. Um, now, if you if you use excessive force, okay, if you use an excess of force, or, or or you're excessive in your force that you use to defend yourself, you are you are still you are still justified according to Haile Selassie the first. So according to God, um, you are allowed to defend yourself. Okay, so so um, we encourage you to 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 look at the code for for yourself. But we're just gonna we're just gonna continue right along. We're just gonna continue right along. Articles 528 to 536. Um, these actually detail abortion, okay, but not only abortion, but also contraception, okay, so abortion, according to God, in God's kingdom, in, in Imperial Ethiopia, all right, Haile Selassie's theocracy, okay, abortion is illegal, all right, um, now there are exceptions to, to, uh, to the laws, okay, just like any law, all right, there are exceptions, Okay, and the exceptions are reasonable. Okay, so uh, in cases where uh, the mother's life is in jeopardy, okay, a doctor may recommend abortion. Okay, that's legal. Okay, that that would be a legal little. That would be a legal abor- abortion. Okay, so um, also uh, in cases of incest or rape. Okay, um, that's also justified. Okay, but if you're just going to have an abortion. Because you want to have an abortion, you know that is actually a criminal offense according to God. Now, if you you know, it, also if you compare uh, God's laws, okay, God's actual laws, you know, the, the Penal Code of 1957, Haile Selassie's actual Penal Code of 1957. If you compare these laws to, and, and also the punishments, you know, the the punishments that it, it come with these laws, right? If you compare these. To you know, uh, for example, a literal interpretation of the scriptures, right? If you compare these laws to a literal interpretation of scriptures, you know, you'll you'll find that that God is actually a reasonable individual. You'll find that God is actually uh, humane. Okay, so whereas the Bible may advocate for slavery, you know, Haile Selassie abolished slavery. Okay, uh, where where the Bible might, um, you know, advocate incest. Okay, uh, you know, Article um, 621 
uh, you know, incest is actually illegal according to His Majesty. So it's not allowed in the kingdom of God. Okay, the Bible leads you to God. That's the purpose of the Bible. Okay, Christ explains the Bible to the masses, and the Bible, okay, leads us to God. All right. The correct interpretation of the Bible leads us to the Creator. The Creator, and Prahali Selassie the first, God in the flesh, God the Father of Jesus Christ, sets a law in place, publishes his own law in 1957. Okay, so that's what we're talking about today. All right, so just just um, understand that we're not talking about biblical laws. We're talking about God's laws today. Okay, uh, that's that might sound a little strange to some but but this is what we're dealing with okay this is what we're dealing with as Rastafarians okay and we, if we're not we should be as Rastafarians we should be dealing with his majesty's laws we should be following his majesty's laws we should be paying attention to his majesty's laws okay thy kingdom come thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven but not to get sidetracked back to our uh, articles 528 to 536 concerning abortion okay not only is abortion illegal okay but contraception is also illegal all right you cannot use contraception in the kingdom of god all right and 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 um you know you 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 can have a politician or you can vote for a politician you guys can uh uh, uh you know have any law passed and, and put into legislation that you choose, okay? That that's democracy, right? You can have any law that you choose, but the judgment of God is that that some of this behavior that's prevalent today, some of these laws that are that 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 are in place today are are against God. Okay, that's the judgment. All right, that's God's judgment. So, moving along, Article Six Hundred, right? Article Six Hundred in the penal code of Ethiopia 1957 all right is actually a, a law against homosexuality okay homosexuality was not allowed in God's kingdom okay not allowed on God's in God's kingdom on earth all right in fact in fact um, the title of this article is actually unnatural carnal offenses okay so how do we know uh, homosexuality is unnatural we know because Haile Selassie labeled it God labeled homosexuality as an unnatural carnal offense it's a criminal offense okay it's 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 punishable by law it's punishable by God okay that's how we that's how we know it's unnatural because Haile Selassie all right Emperor Haile Selassie the first labeled it as such okay so let me just read the let me just read the code to you okay article 600 unnatural carnal offenses one whosoever performs with another person of the same sex sex an act corresponding to the sexual act or any other indecent act is punishable with simple imprisonment two the provisions of article 597 are applicable where an infant or young person is involved okay and also uh, articles 594 595 deal with pedophilia okay the the legal age for for a female to have um, sexual intercourse is is um, 18 okay that that's that's stated in article 595 okay so legal limit is is, is, is 18 according to God okay but um, concerning homosexuality all right uh, it's an unnatural carnal offense okay and and it, the punishment is not being stoned to death or or, or or the death the death penalty according to God the the punishment is actually uh, simple imprisonment now there is a provision in the in the penal code article 726 uh, that deals with recidivism okay recidivism is uh, repeat offenders repeating the offense over and over but that warrants actually a, a a harsher penalty each time. Okay, so you can't just uh, you know smoke cannabis or partake in homosexual activities or have an abortion repeatedly and expect the same punishment 
or no consequence at all. Okay, according to God, the punishment just gets worse and worse as you go along. All right? So simple imprisonment can be anywhere from a few days to a few months. Now, if you keep, you know, if you're not improving and you're not, you're not, uh, you know, uh, stopping the behavior and you're getting caught, you know, uh, the punishment increases just like any other government. Okay, so so Haile Selassie had uh, uh, a very prudent look when it uh, comes to when it comes to law. Okay, um, you know he helped write the law himself. So uh, we're just gonna move move right along. We're just gonna move right along here. Um, Article six hundred and sixteen, bigamy. Bigamy is uh, uh, also um, illegal. Okay, now this is an interesting. Um, this is an interesting uh, article right here because, you know, there's an exception to the rule now. Um, you know, uh, uh, bigamy is illegal as in you cannot uh, marry um, more than one wife at the same time. And a, and a wife cannot have more than one husband at the same time, right? So that's bigamy. However, there's an exception to the rule in Article um, 617. You know, it says the preceding article shall not apply in cases where polygamy is recognized under civil law in conformity with tradition or moral usage. So if there is a tradition or a culture that's, uh, you know, morally uh, uh, using polygamy um, as a means of survival or, you know, uh, uh, not in an indecent way, right, you know, his majesty, uh, uh, you know, wrote the provision in there for an exception. But if we move along, okay, so to the ordinary, to the average person, okay, polygamy is illegal according to God. All right, that's 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 what we should take away from this article. Now, adultery is actually illegal, Article 618, um, you know, and, and that's actually uh, uh, punishable, um, you know, with a fine. Um, you know, also uh, simple imprisonment, and I just wanted to point out uh, bullet point three here uh, because there's there's three there's three points in this article. But uh, where the offender, being of the Christian faith, installs a concubine in the conjugal home while not divorced or separated from an abandoned by it or or abandoned by his wife, simple imprisonment shall be for not less than three months. Okay, so. Uh, you know, this is one of the few instances that I see in the penal code where His Majesty actually says, you know, there's a there's a provision in here for people of the Christian faith. Okay, so so something to think about there, right? So uh, people of the Christian faith uh, installing a concubine in the home, in the conjugal home, you know, while not divorced or separated uh, from or abandoned by his wife, you know, you you go to jail. That's 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 illegal. Okay, so. I just wanted to point that one out, but again, we're not going to get into the details of all these articles. I'm just giving you a, a basic overview of what, um, you know, uh, God found acceptable behavior in his kingdom, okay, during his time here on earth, all right? So we're just going to move right along. We're not, we're not going to get caught up on any of these. We're just going to keep the pace moving. Um, Article 609, for example, Article 609, uh, uh, fascinating little article here. Um, it's entitled in obscene or indecent publications what it's saying is uh, pornography is actually illegal in um, God's kingdom okay so uh, you know with with today's technology and the internet you know uh, pornography is something that's very easily accessible right okay so you know kids that are that are that are younger and younger okay are 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 exposed to pornography these days, unfortunately. Okay, but according to God, it's actually illegal. Um, in in Article 611, however, um, this article is actually entitled "Lawful Works." So, what are are lawful works according to His Majesty? Well, lawful works are objects that are purely artistic, literary, or scientific in character, which are not calculated to inflame erotic feelings or lust, are not held to be obscene or indecent. Okay, so if, uh, if a publication is not calculated to inflame erotic feelings or lust, it's actually legal. Okay, so the, this is why pornography is illegal. Okay, 
This is why pornography is illegal because it's calculated to inflame erotic feelings or lust. All right, so so um, you know if we want to be you know if we want to claim to be Rastafarians, if we want to be Rastafari, if we want to uh, uh, you know uh, use His Majesty's name, if we want to if we want to pray and worship His Majesty and revere His Majesty and, and accept the divinity of Haile Selassie the First, then we should accept His laws as well. We should follow His laws. We should strive to follow his laws to the best of our abilities, okay? Not everyone's perfect, okay? Haile Selassie knew that, all right? Haile Selassie knew that we're, we're all human, okay? Haile Selassie knew that. So, um, but that does not mean that we could just blatantly disrespect his laws, okay? He, he requires us to follow his laws, okay? Um, you know, you, you uh, Haile Selassie, you know, wrote the law for a reason, okay? That law is in place for a reason. He didn't just, uh, you know, out of boredom, create the penal code, okay? Um, you know, in 1960, he actually uh, uh, created the, the civil code. He actually published the civil code, which talks about um, many different things, but one of the major points in that uh, civil code is, is uh, marriage laws. Okay, so, um, you know, we're not going to talk about that today. I'm going to save that for another video because that's like a topic on its own, uh, really, because there's just so many articles and, and so many, so many details on marriage laws. But, um, yeah, I can tell you uh, that uh, Haile Selassie definitely, definitely was prudent um, in creating the civil code, uh, not just, not just the penal code. Um, we're going to move along here. Uh, Article 602. Okay. Article 602. Now, recently I read, uh, well, I'll just tell you what it is. It's actually a law against bestiality. The, the, um, the title of the code, though, however, is entitled Other Unnatural Acts. Okay, whosoever has sexual intercourse with an animal is punishable with simple imprisonment. Now, other unnatural acts, okay? Um, unnatural acts, where have I seen that before? Oh, that's right, unnatural carnal offenses when we're dealing with homosexuality in Article 600. Okay, so just like homosexuality is unnatural, bestiality in 602 are other unnatural acts. Okay, so I just read an article, it could be fake, you know, I'm not, I'm not really too sure that Canada legalized bestiality. Uh, just recently, you know, um, you know, maybe they did, maybe they didn't. I, you know what? I honestly don't even care, okay? Because whatever you pass into legislation, all, all we're doing, okay, all the Church of Holy Selassie the First of the Body of Jesus Christ is doing is comparing your legislation to God's law. All right, that's all we're doing. So I don't care what law you pass if it's not in accordance with God. Okay, then, then, then it's not in accordance with God. All right, so um, that's what we're dealing with. Okay, God's law. This is God's judgment. All right, this is the judgment. Haile Selassie, right? The judge of the earth. Everyone's got only God can judge me on a tattooed on their arm. But do they do they even know what God's judgment is? All right. Okay, so Haile Selassie is God, and these are his laws. So we should follow his laws, right? If we want to beget heaven on earth, then we should implement and manifest his laws on earth. We should, we should pass these laws into legislation. But that's, you know, that, uh, that does not seem uh, like it's going to happen um, anytime soon. Okay, so... Um, you know, those who are sincere in their in their belief in God, and those who are sincere in their in their reverence for His Majesty. You know, uh, you know, we will follow these laws, uh, no matter what the world is doing. The whole world could pass uh, legislation on on homosexuality, and and it's still illegal according to God, according to the Penal Code of 1957. It doesn't matter. Uh, which laws you guys pass, okay? It doesn't matter what laws are passed and what's legal and what's illegal, okay? It, 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 is it legal in God's eyes? And that's what we're dealing with, okay? That's that's what we're interested in, okay? 
you know, when we, when we answer to our Creator at the end of our lives, because we are all subject to death eventually, okay, was our behavior acceptable in the sight of God? All right? Was it acceptable according to the Penal Code of Ethiopia in 1957? Was it acceptable to the Civil Code of Ethiopia in 1960? Was it acceptable to Haile Selassie? You know, and and that's something we should meditate on. That's something we should think about constantly. Okay, how can we conduct ourselves in a manner that's acceptable to God? All right. So His Majesty has given us the blueprint. He's given us the government. He's given us the the, the laws. Right? He's given us the answers. It's a it's an open book test at this point. Okay. So. It's just a matter of of discipline at this point. Okay, no excuse, no no excuses left. All right. So, are we gonna follow God, or are we just gonna keep passing legislation that's contrary to God's principles and God's laws? It's up to us. You know, that's that's agency. That's free will. We all have free will. Okay, God created. You know, uh, uh, everyone. To have free will, okay. So it's our choice. We have the choice. We're going to follow his laws, or, or are we going to? Are we just going to ignore it, okay? And think nothing of it until we die. You know, uh, uh, that's 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 your choice, okay. Nobody else's. Nobody else's choice. So you 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 live your life how you want to live your life, and we'll live our lives how how we want to live our lives. <laughs> Let your eyes, enemies, scatter. Let them all so that they team will be forever. As a smoke is driven away, drive them away. Hey, yeah, yeah. I will be chanting. I will be chanting on and on, yeah. I will be chanting King David Sam. I will be chanting on and on. Lead your eyes. Let his enemies go to let them all so that they can flee before him. Rain at the presence of Jarasta Farai. Zion, it's a move at the presence of Jah, the King of Israel.